I, I could, I love this lifestyle. I could do this for a long time. I got tired of my sticks and bricks. It was more work and hassle and expense than I wanted. And I was able to get out here. I think it saved my life, tell you the truth. Hey everyone, I've got Max Dollar right here. And he's gonna show his minivan, his entire setup. And it is so cool. So I wanted to show it to you. It's a little different. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Me too. Well, let's get the show on the road, okay? Okay, hi, Max. Hi, Lee. Well, what do you want to show us first? Well, I'm going to come over here to my table. Okay. And a few items I've picked up. I have the solar lights I get at Dollar General. They're $5.50 each. They're okay. real good to me. And this is at Harbor Freight. It's a $13 blinking light for underneath your engine to keep the mice away. Uh -huh. and I ran over it last night. Look at that. I cracked it right open. Ooh. Everyone runs over their solar stuff. Don't feel bad. I do it. Yes. And I have, you have my cast iron pan. Ooh. That's and, a nice one. Yeah. And I have the dual propane butane uh, stove, single burner. Okay. Always keep my ruler around. I got a nice little rechargeable. And I went back to my tea kettle. I had a percolator and it was too much trouble. <laughs> Just in case. I have my walking sticks. Ooh, this one is a Sorara. Yeah. Sorara. You can buy them. That guy sells them in Quartzite. I got it for four dollars. I made this one from uh, across from my brother's house in Michigan and people asked me why is this on here. I said it just fit. That's why. And I strengthened it here. And I always make this walking stick with a little Y. Because if I'm walking and I see an apple up in the tree, I can kind of <laughs> reach up and I can just pull that branch right down to where I can reach the apple. There you go. And I've learned that trick a while back. So, so do I, you cook out here on your table? Yes, I do. I love my corned beef hash. I fry other things. I mean, fry steak or I have little screens for on top of a grill. Okay. I... Named my van Athena, ah. which I think is the goddess of wisdom and war. Whew. And I've had Athena for two years. I put over 60,000 miles on it, on her. And if something goes wrong, I just repair it. It's been very reliable. It's a Chrysler town and country. And everything works. <clears throat> grateful for that. I come out here two years ago for the 2019 RTR and I brought my Luggable Lou which I've hardly ever ever used but I have used it for a shower tent for showers and using my for potty. I uh, and it's utilitarian it's nothing fancy I just kind of work with whatever I have here and I want to come back over this way. I want to show you my window covers. Again, I found this box in the middle of a road, and a police officer come up, saw me uh, picking it up out of the road, and he thanked me, and I made it into a little privacy barrier. I'm an older fella. No one's going to be looking in through the little corners. My windows are very well tinted. Put these up, uh, these window, they're just um, window shades for sunshades and I just clip them in on both sides and then I have a little um, foil that goes in the back window at night and I can do it all in about 60 seconds it doesn't take long clips yeah and I'm gonna explain a little bit here okay I have a, a inflatable kayak in the silver box this is your bed yeah five okay. inches of foam on a piece of plywood take that up see the plywood okay all right. All righty. And then the blue box over here has a shower tent and a lot of propane bottles and a few other things. And then I have four milk crates back behind there. They have like a water purification, um, jumper cables, tools. And it worked out just fine. This uh, Chrysler's have a little hump going backwards. And you get these two tubs up front and the four milk crates in the back, it come out perfectly level. And then in the evening, I sit in the chair. In the evening, I sit in this chair and I read. I have an exercise ball for strengthening my knees 
my lower back and I have a... What's this? This is a, a, a elastic oh, strap yeah, for exercising. Yeah. I'm trying to strengthen my lower back. Okay. And, oh, you, you dropped your name tag. Oh, what does that say? I can't read it. It says but, sugar. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, wait. No, here it is. Here's your name tag. <laughs> Mustard? Honey. Oh. Yes, my. Yes. Wood carving. Let me get a good pan of this. I'm sitting on your bed. Is that okay? Yeah. I said, okay. And uh, let me just do a pan of this. Let's see. We got some controls up there. Oh, yeah. We got that. You keep glasses. And then we've got bins. There's the front. I just want to do a pan for everybody so when we and talk have, about things, we can. I have some toiletries. I do my brushing every night. Okay. And, and that's where you keep your toiletries? Right there? No, most of them are in this case oh, right here. Right. Oh, in this case right here? Okay. Medicines and okay. stuff like that. I have one of these to scare someone off. That's right. My back and scratcher. Basically, how I live, I am not a neat freak, but I have my favorite uh, meals. I have avocado and crackers, and my cough drops, my recharging bricks. I put a, I put these everywhere in the, both door compartments on both doors in the front and back here, so I have a chance to remind myself to brush my teeth more often. Yes. I usually always brush my teeth twice a day, morning and night. Now you got CDs here. What what are those CDs well, for? I'm, I used to speak Spanish very well. And I picked up this very inexpensively. I've been practicing my Spanish. And I'm only on the first disc. Can you say something for us? Es un buen día. Mm. Y tú es muy hermosa. Sus ojos son como las estrellas del cielo. Ay de mí. Wow. So I'm studying my Spanish. Okay. You know what I told you? No. What did you say? You are very beautiful and your eyes are like the stars of heaven. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Thank you. So I do my thing and I'm going to start after three months, two years ago, uh -huh. eight months last year, and I'm full time now. I'm going to start doing a daily comment diary thought for the day a journal okay you got Maybe. your mask right there get that ready yeah, to I, go I, have, I get these at uh harbor freight okay you know you get 10 masks for 2.99 yes it's great so, so in here um you have your chair now do you use this chair often you kept one of the seats in yes you do uh, this I, I, often I, with that little pad right there kind of okay uh, i'd rather be flying support yeah and i actually put my feet up on the Oh, okay. But I sit there, I have these glasses that have uh, lights in them. You know, you turn it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It, uh, you can read. And I have other ways of reading, too, yeah. like a little. Uh, let's see. Let's get a better view. He's got these, um, the screen up. And what he did was he put, clipped it to the seatbelt. Oh. Okay, see, yeah, isn't yeah, that simple? Yeah. Very nice. And this, I'm sitting here. So this is a very comfortable bed. It's very comfy. Yes, yeah, your head goes down there. Right. Okay. That way I can swing my feet out and I'm yes. right in what I call my living room. Now under here you just have little odds and ends, right? You keep some of your stuff like wipes and... Yeah. 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 Keep it handy. I have a couple of my medications in there. I only mm -hmm. have a couple. Right. Vitamins. Right. Things like that. Okay. I and like it. Oh, what do you keep in this I bin? Have, uh, um, actually, I have... Mice repellent spray. Okay. I have uh, wood carving, whittling, I should say. Whittling yes. knives and wood that I want okay. to make things that I whittle when I'm uh, just trying to get back into it. I used to whittle a lot. Yeah. My dad was a wood carver for over 60 years. Yeah. And I can do other wood carving. I have a complete set of tools for wood carving, like uh, relief carving, trays, um, pictures, scenery. And two of my brothers are really good at it. I'm more of a whittler. It's something I do in my spare time. I like making letter openers. And um, I haven't done it for a while, but I'm going to get back into it. Do you sell 
No, you were, I just okay. gave them as gifts. Okay. Never sold anything. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I know people like to know, like, they're, they're <clears throat> we're getting a good view at this mo point of what your setup is. Because a lot of people, when they say, well, everybody does it differently. Mm -hmm. And what I like about Max, what I wanted to show you about Max is that not everything is in its place. He doesn't have a place for every little thing, as some people do. Um, I'm just like this neat Nick, but not saying you're not neat, Max, but I wanted to show that not everybody is like that. Right. And you probably uh, represent 50% of the population that you you don't care if things are sitting out. You know where they are. Exactly. And I call it utilitarian. Yeah. I'm a soft camper. That's a term I coined because after a few times using my shower tent uh, as a potty, I found out there was porta johns in a lot of places, and I developed a technique. My pattern is I get up in the morning, I drive into Walmart or a gas station, I use the facilities, and I'm done with that part of my day. And then I get my coffee, and I may come back to my campsite and do some cooking, or I might get breakfast in town. But I'm, it's a simple way to live. It's not roughing it. It's, I call it soft camping, and it works great for me. I've been doing it for a long, well, three years. And eight months last year, three months before that. And the second year I went back, I sold my house north of Lansing, Michigan, and I'm full-time camper now, boondocker, nomad. And my reasoning is I want to see the national parks. And that's another thing. I have been going nonstop for two years that's why I put over 60,000 miles on my vehicle. I'm trying to slow down a little bit and just enjoy the moment and the, the lifestyle. I was, uh, I've never stayed more than seven, maybe 10 days at the most in any one spot. So I'm uh, learning just how to like, just live while you're parked here and do the things that like journaling and, and whittling and whittling and, whittling, and cooking and mm -hmm. Looking at the uh, stars. Social media is too time consuming. I'm weaning myself off that some. Okay. And it's not hard. You know, you can always do new things out here. And well, I want to let everybody know that I did an interview with Max on my podcast, This Nomad Life. And I'm going to leave the link for that because you can really get an in depth of who Max is. Very interesting and uh, quite the great friend. So um, I'm going to leave that link. Uh, so that they can get to know you just a little bit better too. Yeah. Great. I enjoyed that. Yeah. And I see, let, let me step out of here sure. and let's look at what your flooring is. Okay. I will explain a little more here. On the flooring. Yeah. My kayak is in here. It has yes, a, you're a kayaker. It has a life vest and two pumps, a manual and an electric. And it's in that gray bin? And here's right? my two, my paddles. Okay. There's four fishing poles in here, which I have yet to use. Wow. But I wanted to do some fishing. And I got that from my brother back in Michigan. He's a great fisherman. Okay. And uh, he took me out fishing. I reacquainted myself with that. It was a lot of fun. And I'm going to go on the other side, show you a few things. Okay. What? Are, so is this oh, just here. a, a small, the flooring? Is this a small rug? Yeah. There's the mat for this is a pad but it was a work mat and i oh. take this out and i put it oh, in the yeah. bottom of the kayak for for a little more strength in the bottom of the kayak so yeah. i don't have my feet right on the the plastic or the nylon or the material okay. this this gives me a cushion it fits perfectly i had to trim it a little bit but okay. that's a work mat from home depot okay and that that gives me a nice cushion not that i need it much but now are all your seats out or everything all your seats are yeah all your seats are in right yeah Okay, very and good, and they're just... Uh, except for the one in the back, I'll show you Okay, that. right. I have my laptop computer here. Okay. It's real nicely. Oh, yeah. And it comes in So handy. you have a place for everything. Yeah. yeah. I can show you this. Yeah, what... This is kind of... I have a whole box of food, canned food. Okay. And uh, I usually carry one tub here when I'm traveling, one okay. tub in the seat in the back. Okay. And two tubs stacked right here in the center okay so that's what i have like my mr buddy extra clothing right. some food yeah and then i can travel and i take my table and i put it up on my bed yeah with my chair and it travels that way yeah also have a 
garage tent uh, that right. I, I store my tubs in when I'm yeah uh, wanting to live out of my van. This is a this is a tent I want to get next. It's yeah. a four person, right? Yes. Yeah, and that was what thirty four. Thirty four. Yeah. yeah at Walmart. It's only it's ten dollars. Very durable. Yeah. It has an access side. Yeah, I like right that. There where you put your dirty shoes in. So that's was very nice. Well, I will say that um, we were both at Fortuna Pond at yesterday, and that's the video that you right before this one. If you want to watch that, and uh, we decided last minute, let's get the heck out of here. It's too dirty. It's like one big spider web, and we're caught in it. it was a, How long did it take us when you were talking about moving? It took it, me from tearing down my tent, packing everything up. I can do it in 15 to 20 minutes, and I'm on the road. And that's another thing. I like being stealthy. I don't have a tub on top. I'm not, no bicycle on the back no camping stickers everywhere and this van can go into car washes parking ramps it can go through um areas that uh, you can be stealthy yes yeah i had mine done we and i had my slack line up and we we decided and in 15 minutes we were out of dodge man we were a, like let's get out of here there was a dust storm every minute it was like <laughs> Twisted. But it was dirty even without the dust storm. So I just wanted to mention that that um, Max is the same. We can tear down yeah. quickly, yeah, and put everything in, and let's go. And I carry my lint okay. roller, suntan lotion, uh, insect repellent, and oh, here's the toothbrushes. Yeah. Now you remember. And each door, I have toothbrush here, one over there, and one next to my bed, so that I can brush my teeth as often as possible. Okay. And I'll show you the back. Whatever you want to show me next. We'll see here. There's my brush. This is my Planet Planet Fitness go-to bag. And my dirty clothes. And then I have laundry. I haven't noticed much of any sand or anything getting in my laundry. It just seems convenient. But then I have, uh, this is my plates, paper plates, forks, uh, other, same thing, seasoning. I ought to combine these two. But you can see I have electrical cords, uh, hammer, Velcro, and then underneath, going to Let's see under here. More repellent, fishing gear. Let me ask you a question. Is, is this what you're... That wood is setting on that? Yeah, I'll show you here. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Out. Okay. That's what I was going to show you. Because I think they'd want to... The... Oh, my goodness. I learned this trick when I was camping in Wisconsin, and I'm a mountain biker, too. I found out that I could... I just left my... Here it is. I bought this in... Grand, no, Rapid City, South Dakota. And it's a walking stick that I, I made a hole right here that I can continue oh. doing this out. Oh, yeah. And it will hold it up. Now, look at that. I don't like to have a bicycle hanging off the back, so when I go camping in Wisconsin for the air shows, I have my mountain bike and it comes right up on top of the bed and on the table and I shove this all back in so the bicycle's inside and at night when I'm sleeping I have uh, my lock my bicycle up to my driver's side door so I'm not going anywhere until without taking my bicycle and if anyone tried to steal it I'd hear them it's a system I've developed okay so let me can I ask you a question where because I think these are questions I might get where's the bike now it's in storage unit back in Michigan gotcha it was such a long trip out here and I've learned something else you can go to a strange town go to Goodwill and buy a $50 bicycle and use it while you're there and take it back and leave it in their parking lot and they'll resell it give it back to them yeah. and you can have the use of it so good idea but my my 10 speed is my I've had it for a long time and I've redone it, uh, had it tuned up. It's a part of me. Yeah. I really enjoy it. 
I'll show you this other thing here. Can I also ask Max, you don't mind, no. uh, how old are you? I'm 73 and a half. For uh, and a half, I love that. <laughs> 70, we were laughing about that. 73 and a half. Like a kid. Oh, so, I'm going I'm to bind that. Yeah. So I just wanted to know, I just wanted to mention that of your age. I mean, everybody, he's riding his bike. He's out here traveling. Uh, yeah. You can see my dokio. Okay. There's my, uh, there's a toe straps over there in case I get stuck. I have a hitch that I can hook up and then people can pull me out. Extra things, you know, anything under the sun. I got a lot of stuff. Looks like it's gotten kind of dusty. Okay. But that's underneath the bed when I'm, uh -huh. when that I have full access to this. I'll show you a couple of other things here. Okay. My Dokio four panel, I haven't used it much, but I want to use it more. I just bought a 10 foot extension for my panel. And also I have a two prong, six foot long, fairly heavy duty cord that plugs into my my vehicle here has the cigarette lighter and a 110 oh, inverter wow. built in. Okay. So I can plug this in and I charge a battery pack, a large, larger battery pack that has a air compressor, tire inflator, and that's what I charge this up when I'm on the road and just driving. And you do that while you're driving yeah. so you don't run your battery right. down. Yeah. yeah. And a few things for my Oh, you zip gotta, ties. Always got to have zip ties. Zip and ties. This is for my solar panel. Yeah. And my small, small jackery. Okay. I charge that off my cigarette lighter when I'm driving. Mm hmm What is that? A 160? Your jackery? Yeah, 150. 150. Also my jump starter. Oh, I have one exactly like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And I can very easily I can do this while the bed is still in place I just come up and I pull this out and I can get in there so and I, and I get this one out I take this one out and I get out and I get my gear out and go from there it works it I had see this is all new to me too mm -hmm. I haven't seen you pull your bed out so this is really great you got a great system I am like again I just want to kind of be on the simple side I don't want to complicate things and it's been working for me for a while I I could I love this lifestyle I could do this for a long time I got tired of my sticks and bricks it was more work and hassle and expense than I wanted and I was able to get out here I think it saved my life tell you the truth I was probably 25 pounds maybe even 30 pounds heavier sitting in front of a computer watching TV all day snowed in in Michigan winters and by coming out here I'm just outdoors and sunshine clean air and I love it and I do pretty much what I want to do fortunately I am able to make choices and follow through I know some people have restrictions on their living environment and what they can do I'm very fortunate so I'm getting that you're getting the idea of what I was trying to say about the simplicity and utilitarian aspects of this lifestyle that I have. I like having a very good flashlight and that's pretty important to me. I have some that are rechargeable on USB and that's where I go with most everything I'm doing. I, I just love getting up in the morning going out. I have a lot of friends. Certainly enjoy that. I like your sister, Max. And I like the fact that I wanted to make sure that um, I showed that not that you have your style and I'm sure you're 50% of of everybody that it doesn't have to be you all decorated or, mm -hmm. you know, everything is like put away, every little thing. No, you, there's things out and but you know where they are. And mm -hmm. you're most, you're mainly outside. Notice during the day, you're mostly outside. 
I am. Uh, yeah. The term is you're living out of your van, right. not in it. Yeah. And uh, they will say, well, it must be down to nothing if you're living in a van. No, I'm, I choose to live out of a van. That's, I sleep here and I read here in the evening in my seat. And I have more things to learn yet. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. And that's what I love about it. Yeah. You see new things all the time. I know. And I have to admit, Mini Van Lee, some of the products you've purchased made pure sense to me. And I went out and bought a couple of things. Um, and I think that's a service you provide for people. You almost like test them for them, tell them how things work. So. Well, you know, I keep it simple too. Yeah, you do. I mean, I don't. I don't yeah, have I don't anything you do complicated. You exercise, you stretch, you do videos. Yeah, you are a very active person. And those videos take time to edit. I know that. So you're good you at it. You watch it, yeah. You're you very watch. good at it. You're the best. <laughs> oh, you really thank are. you. Well. I was trying to be humble for you. <laughs> said you were better than many others. You're the best. I love well, your videos. You have thank talent. you. Thank you, you for the compliments. You are, you're a great friend, Max. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you keep in your town? I can see the tent through. What, uh, anything special you keep in there when you're out here? Well, today, you know, I have the four tubs. Actually, I have one in the back seat that I, when I'm traveling and two tubs in the center. Today, I wrapped up, folded up two more blankets. These blankets are only $7 at Walmart. These blankets, seven bucks, and I have three of them, and I put both of them on last night. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's just a... Well? I have so many things I can do. I'll just go right back in, right back in. I see there are two pieces of wood. Is that two? One. Oh, 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 oh that's... that's an oh, exercise oh, oh, okay, mat that I, okay. I put another exercise mat. Here's why. I kayak... And I thought if I'm kayaking, I could take this exercise mat with me. Oh, yeah. And a, a backpack. Okay. Also, yeah. I have two of these. Works out good. What do you use those? Oh, to push those back? Yeah, I have two of these for hot dog roses. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Keep away. Yeah. Max, I've got a treat for you. I have what? A treat for you. We're going to do the potato in the coals. I got potatoes and onions. Sounds good. But I also got uh, a ham, a little a ham, so I'm going to cut it up and put it in there. For this evening? Yeah, we're going to get a fire going pretty good. soon, or this afternoon. Good. We're going to get it going. We don't need to wait till tonight, because I want to get the coals going. That's good. Love it. If you need these, any of these grills. I, I don't think I do, because we're going to set them right in the grill, right in the, I think we're going to set them right in the coals. Yeah. Well, good. That's what okay. I always do. Okay. Well, I just thought I'd uh, get that excited expression on the video. <laughs> I want to emphasize staying fit. Yeah. It's nice to lose some weight. And we get our share of walking. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we do. But I think it's important to move, exercise, do something. Yeah. I'd like to learn more about that. I mean, I was always kind of an exercise guy anyway, but... You were a wrestler in high school. I was a wrestler. Yeah. I'm a weightlifter. Yeah. To a certain extent. But I, uh, I love bicycling, yeah. kayaking, canoeing. Yeah. I've done camping most, uh, most of my life. Yeah. And this system just came to me by accident. I used to camp in a three-room tent. Wow. In Oshkosh at the air show. I would put my bicycle in one wing of the... It was a 10-man tent. I put the bicycle in one end. I'd have my table in the center with a chair, and I'd have my cooking area. And then in the third wing, I'd have my bed. Well, they were predicting five days of rain coming across into Wisconsin. And I thought, whoa, this tent's going to leak. It was like three years old. And I looked at my van, and one time I had slept in the back of a pickup truck when it was raining, and it worked out great. So I, of all things, I put those four milk crates in and the two tubs towards the front which they're a little bit higher and I put the board that I slept on the mattress and everything come out perfectly level wow and I've been camping out of this van in the one before this I had a maroon town and country before this one I've been doing this for five years maybe more once I realized I could stay dry yeah and uh, safe yeah inside my van because they are safe you know it's easy to get into a tent it's hard to get into a car. Yeah. So. Plus you can, 
hop in it and get it started, you know, and go. I'm go. I'm and on go. The road in 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, well, even if you had to go, anything that you would have left out at night, you can replace. I can replace. Yeah. I, do, I never leave anything out that right. can't be right. replaced in case I got to, like, run. Exactly. Yeah. 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 People worry about me being out here, my family. Here I am, an adult, 73 year old man. And they say, well, you better watch out. People might uh, try and cheat you or, or harm you. And I said, no, it's perfectly safe out here. I'm around people. I have people within sight most all the time. There's a lot of room out here, but people are good. People want to help you, not hurt you. And I'm yeah. grateful for that, too. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you showing us and all of us the possibilities of a different system it's not it's not totally different but it is a little different than other other systems and everything doesn't have to go in this place you've got your, your clothes there so you can just grab them mm -hmm. and uh, you don't have the drawer system you just use some bins and mm -hmm. and i like it yeah yeah and there's a couple of unique things about it like being able to put my bicycle up inside right and pull the tubs out to get my kayak right right or my shower tent if yeah. I need to. okay max how can anybody contact you if they have any questions? Well, I am on Facebook, Max Dollar Height, Dollar H I T E. That would be the best way, I would think. And I have that podcast, I give the same information. And also, you will possibly be perusing the comments from this, and maybe you could answer some of them. I'll answer questions if they have any. Sounds good. So the possibilities are there for all of us at any age and in any style of uh, living and any, yeah. So the possibilities are there. I really thank you, Max, for this. Thank you, Minnie Van Lee. You are <laughs> awesome. He's awesome. Okay, so for now, I'll leave the link for the podcast. And you guys have a good day, right? Have a great day. Great day. Bye.